Okay, let's find the domain for this function. And what are the values of x that exist here? Well, it looks like it starts with negative 4. Right here, negative 4, just at that point. Then we have between negative 3 and negative 1. So just this little area here. Note that there's a break between negative 4 and negative 3. There are no values of x that exist here, right? Then we have another break between negative 1 all the way up to 2. Nothing going on over here. But from 2 onward, x goes forever that way. Because we see a little arrow here indicating that it goes forever that way. So how can we write this crazy domain? Well, x such that x is going to be equal to negative 4. It's going to be between negative 3 and negative 1, including both those values. Then it will be greater than 2, or equal to 2, rather. Greater or equal to 2, because it includes that point. So that's it. x is negative 4, then later it's in between negative 3 and negative 1, and then later greater than 2. What about the range? Let's take a look at the range. Um, so what are the y values that exist here? The lowest one appears to be negative 4. It appears and is negative 4. Then we, we have no breaks from here to here, right? So it goes all the way over there. And as you can notice, it keeps on going on forever. Why is that? Even though there's a break between this big gap over here, only for the x values though, between these two points, if we're looking at the y values, they all continue, right? We hit, you know, we have 4 over here, have 5, and so on. So there are no gaps for the y, and it goes on forever, because there's this little arrow here indicating that it goes up forever as well. So our, our <clears throat> sorry, I was going to say the main, but our range is a little bit simpler. Y is just greater or equal to negative 4. And that's it.